In this video, you will learn how to export measured data from Icon Field to an external storage. The primary reason for doing this is to make a backup of the measured data. It is quick and easy and a good practice to do this every day before shutting down the controller. Let us see what to export this time. We press Measure. In this job, we have measured points and lines on light pole foundations, light cables, manholes, and a curb island. We also assign codes while measuring them, making it easy and effective to work on the related points, either on site or in the office. Let's export them. We tap on the Home button to exit measure. In the Home menu, we tap on Export, which then opens the Export main screen. The left side of that screen shows several boxes. First, the content, where we can select the type of export. We could export the entire project, a code list, or the coordinate system, just to mention a few examples. In this exercise, we stay with the initially selected content, data, as we want to export the measured points and lines. Let us export to a USB key. We press the Destination tab. The exported data can also be used for on-machine solutions. If the target solution is on Icon 3D, select the Icon 3D Removable Disk option in Icon Site. If the target solution is on MC1, export the data as shown in the following. The MC1 user should then use the Import option, Synchronize Icon Site USB. In this exercise, the data is to be used in the office, so we choose Removable Disk, which is the USB key. From the next box below, we select the job Day 1. In this job, we measured all relevant data. To the right, below the destination box, we see a list of all available file formats. In this exercise, we select the format DXF, which supports line work. We open the DXF export options by tapping on the arrow. Here we can set the units and if we want to export in 2D or 3D. We could also choose which specific point attributes to include or exclude. We could change the text size of the information text in the DXF file. In this example, we adjust them to size 12. If we had selected several jobs for export, we could separate them into different layers in the exported DXF file. When all settings are correct, we press OK. We have now selected the type, destination, job and file format. Now we press OK to export. Here we can rename the exported file, but in this case, we leave it as is. Press OK. Let's view the file in Icon Office. Note that the selected information from the DXF export is displayed with each point together with the selected code symbol. From here, this data can be a part of the project's as built documentation. That's it. You have learned how to export data from your controller to an external storage as a backup or to make it available for post-production in the office. In case you have watched all the videos of this series, congratulations! You are prepared to start using Icon Field for basic workflows in your daily work.